Do you ever feel like really exhausted by the end of the day and then feel like so unaccomplished, like you did absolutely nothing, even though you've been sitting at your desk and you're on your computer and you're doing things, but then you think to yourself, oh my God, it's already 5.30 and what did I do for today? I'm gonna show you three ways to still feel accomplished by the end of your day. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Mahoney. I am a work from home mom of three children. And so I run my own small business and I love to share inspirational tips, small business tips and crafting and all those things here on this channel. So if you are new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join us. Why don't you? So today I'm going to be sharing three ways to still feel accomplished by the end of the day. I don't know about you, but I definitely have days where I sit here at my desk and I just fall into traps. I fall into YouTube traps, TikTok traps, books, all kinds of things. And then I end up saying to myself, uh, what did I do today? I feel like I did absolutely nothing. When in reality, I did actually do stuff, but sometimes it's hard to understand and realize that you did. So a tip that I learned a long time ago was to write what your accomplishments were for the day in a notebook. I have this lovely little journal right here. It says, make your mark. I thought it was perfect, right? So in this journal, what I can do is I write down all of the things I accomplished at the end of the day. Now, when I say all, I say like the big things, right? If you're really, really struggling, then you can write down the small things. So for me, even though I think that maybe I didn't do a lot of things in my business, I may be like, oh my God, I could have done more today. I should have done more today. I stop at the end of the day, probably around this time, 5 36 o'clock after like the end of the work day. It's not really my end of my work day, but if I'm feeling like I'm struggling already, then I'll stop and I'll wipe my notebook and say, okay, what are some things that I got done today? Did I make a YouTube video? Yes. Did I edit a YouTube video? Did I write a blog? Did I write an email? Did I update my website? Did I do some personal development? Did I check all the websites I needed to? Did I post on social media? Just any of the business things that I need to do. Did I do those things? I also have a binder that holds me accountable throughout the entire day to make sure I'm getting things done like my self-care, my chores around my house, and my business tasks that I need to get done. So it helps keep me all together on task, but sometimes you need to write things down, right? And I promise by the end of the list, you'll feel really good about it. And when I say all, limit yourself. Do like five to seven things that you've done. And maybe you didn't do something towards your business, but maybe you did stuff around the house. Like maybe you deep cleaned the hall closet that has been such a disaster for the last three months that you just needed to do it. That's a really big accomplishment. That's something that needed to be done and can affect your everyday life, your mental health. So yeah, the way you may think that maybe I didn't get stuff done, write the, those things down. Maybe you vacuumed the, the entire house. Maybe you got all the toys out from underneath the sofa. Maybe you went ahead and fixed the broken stair outside on the porch. I don't know who you are or what you do, but anything that you've done that made a significant difference, you want to write it down. I promise by this time you're like three or four in, you're going to be like, wow, yeah, I did do stuff today. Maybe I didn't do as much as I could have. Maybe I didn't do as much as I did on Saturday or another day, but you still made accomplishments today. And it's really important to recognize those things. You're going to feel a hell of a lot better. The next thing that I love to do is check in with my to-do list. Do I still have some items on there that need to move over to tomorrow? Did I forget to check off stuff that I did get to do today? The checklist, the to-do list is one of my favorite things. So I love to plan my to-do lists the night before. So maybe even right before bed, this baby comes with me with a pen. And before I lie down and sit there for three hours thinking about all the things that I didn't accomplish or that I need to get done, instead, part of my nighttime routine is writing down my to-do list so that tomorrow morning when I wake up, I already know the things that need to get done. I can start off my day fresh. I know that I like to throw a load of laundry in right in the beginning as I'm getting ready so that I've already got a load going for the day. That way, if I get a chance in the middle of the day to turn it over, awesome. And if I don't, that's okay. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up and switch it over. I usually get to it more than once, but that's not the point. The point is you start with your to-do list in the morning and you already know what you need to do. You're not going to waste time sitting there thinking, oh, what do I have to do today? And now it's 10 o'clock and you've done nothing. The night before to-do list, because for some reason, especially for women, we tend to think about all of the things that need to get done and we can't sleep now because we didn't write it down. But if your to-do list is next to your nightstand, if you do happen to think of something else, you can write it down. But I, say, I think doing like a nice dump of words before you lay down for the night, 
you're going to feel a lot better because you're like, oh, shoot, I forgot to call the dentist. I have not called the dentist. And I just keep using this example because I need to call the dentist. I'm going to put that on my to-do list tonight. So I wake up in the morning and I call the dentist and I book all of the appointments. It needs to get done. So I need to put that at the top of my to-do list. And anything else that I didn't get to today can roll over to go on to tomorrow's to-do list. The most important thing is don't beat yourself up about not completing your to-do list. It will still be there tomorrow. Don't worry about it. But this exercise can help you release all of those like pent up emotions about what you did or didn't do today and you just move it on to tomorrow and then tomorrow you are ready to go. All right. And the last thing I love to do is I love to reach out to somebody throughout the day about something that I did, something that I feel really good about, something that I accomplished. So this is where I say phone a friend, right? I say even texting a friend. You can call your mom. She's always going to want to hear from you. And you're like, mom, guess what I did today? And tell her something. Moms are always proud. It doesn't matter what it was or how little it was. Moms are going to be like, oh my God, good for you, honey. I'm so proud of you. Like, if you want that reassurance, moms are the best for that. So go ahead and call your mom and just let her know something that you did that day. For me, I love to text one of my besties. I go ahead and I message a friend about finding a book that I was looking for or cleaning out that closet that I was able to do or hey, I have a new product in my shop. Can you check it out? I will text one of my best friends and reach out to them and it kind of gives that clarity to tell it to somebody else. Even if they're like, okay, cool girl, that's fine. Like your bestie is not gonna be like, girl, what the fuck are you talking about? Like they're gonna be like, oh, that's awesome, good for you. Like it just kind of puts it out into the world that, that you did something and you can chat about it for a little bit. And it gives you that reason to say, no, I did do something today. It gives you the accountability. It's telling somebody else, putting things into the universe really is like this psychological thing for your brain that makes you feel so much better because you can tell somebody that you did something. If you have a spouse, that's a great person to tell because they're used to your bullshit and they're used to you telling them random things. So I will text my husband like, honey, guess what? I did this. And he's like, okay, cool. Awesome. Like, especially if I clean something in the house or I, you know, fix something that has been needing to be fixed. A spouse or a partner or somebody you live with is always a great person to reach out to because they're even closer to the source. So they get it and understand that, you know, that door frame has been hanging off the wall for three months and I finally nailed it back together. And they're like, sweet. Now we don't have to worry about that anymore. And the point is, is you're reaching out, you're telling somebody and you're getting it off of your chest. These are things that are going to help you psychologically to stay inspired and keep going on the right path. Now, if you're a reader like me and you want to be able to read this kind of content, you can go ahead and head over to my blog. If you want to go ahead and click down in the description, I have linked the blog that I wrote to this exact video explaining the exact things I do and how I do them. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and visit michellelisamahoney.com and you can check out my blog over there where I like to give inspiring information at least once a week of tips and tricks and inspiration to keep your life positive and keep going on the path that you want to go down. Now, if this video was helpful at all, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up and like this. And even if you didn't like it, that's okay. You can hit the unlike as well. And I hope that if you're not already subscribed, you're going to subscribe to my channel. I'm really looking forward to hitting my goal of 1000 subscribers by the end of March. And you can help me do that by subscribing to my channel and sharing this video with any friends that you may have and also recommending that they subscribe as well. Thanks again for watching this channel. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. So as well, okay, I'll be right with you. Okay, I'll get you some. Go put it on the table.